ever wondered what happens from the moment a fish is caught until it arrives at your dinner table. How fish caught halfway across the globe makes their way to your local eatery. It's a journey filled with surprising techniques and secrets that keep seafood fresh and delicious. In this video, we reveal the fascinating steps involved from catch to kitchen and share some jaw-dropping facts about sustainability and global practices. So keep watching our channel, The Curious Horner. Independent fishermen often use traditional approaches to catch fish, using a rod and reel often with a single hook or lure. The fish caught are usually sold to the local fish market with a small profit and often lasts from 24 to 36 hours unless it is freezed. The canned fish which is found in supermarkets and restaurants are the ones caught by commercial fishermen working for factories. Their boats are much bigger and advanced. The long lining method is most commonly used to catch bigger fishes, in which a long line usually several miles in length is prepared with multiple baited hooks. The hooks are baited with various types of bait, depending on the target species. In most cases, smaller fish are baited, and at each end of the line, buoys are attached to keep it afloat and mark its location. The line is left in the water for several hours or even overnight, allowing fish to bite the bait. Different depths and locations are chosen based on the species being targeted, such as tuna or swordfish. After the soaking period, the line is carefully retrieved and the fish are stunned on the spot, reducing their movements and making them easier to handle. Quickly killing the fish and removing the internal organs reduces stress, which can affect the quality and flavor of the meat. Once retrieved, the fish are quickly washed to remove blood and other contaminants from their surface. Since bacteria thrive in dirt and organic matter, rinsing helps inhibit their growth. Each species of fish caught is weighed and categorized before being placed on ice. Fishing vessels often have refrigerated storage holes that keeps the fish at optimal temperatures during transport back to shore. Some operations also use chilled seawater or brine solutions to keep the fish cool. The faster the fish are processed, the fresher they remain. Many operations aim to have the catch processed within hours. As soon as the fishing capacity is full, the fishes are transported to the shore where the trucks with refrigerated compartments are waiting to maintain the freshness during transit. In many cases, additional ice is added in the trucks to maintain low temperature, especially if the journey is long. This helps prevent spoilage and ensures the fish stay in optimal condition until they reach the factory. After reaching the factory, the fish are washed again and are inspected for quality, sorted by type and size, and any damaged or spoiled fish are removed before shifting it to the canning unit. In the canning unit of the factory, the fish are cleaned, scaled, and filleted as necessary. This involves removing the head, tail, and internal organs. Additional ingredients like sauces, spices or broth are added, depending on the final product. The canes are sealed tightly 
to create an airtight environment and undergo a process of heating to kill any remaining bacteria and enzymes, ensuring a long shelf life. After sterilization, the cans are cooled, labeled and prepared for distribution. If properly maintained, the canned fish can last up to anywhere from 3 to 5 years or even longer. The best buy date on the can is a guideline for optimal quality, but the fish may still be safe to eat beyond that date, as long as the can is intact and is stored correctly. Canned fish is exported all around the world, which is why fish from different regions is generally available and enjoyed everywhere. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel, The Curious Corner, for more fascinating content.